Hi guys, as promised, I have the Orc Death Dread showcase here in some better lighting. So, um, I'll start off at the front then, obviously. Uh, at the back, at the top, sorry. So there's flames on the top. Flames using Corn Red, Tile Light Orca, and then Uriel Yellow. Checkers all over the place. I think I'm going to, next time, because it's my first Orc model, for, you, for those of you who don't know, it's my first Orc painted model. So, um, I'm going to work on my checkers a bit. And if you can't see there, I have a little, uh, it's meant to be an Orc, but I didn't have an Orc, so I used a Croot. It's basically to show that it is looted. And it doesn't have any legs, that's why I put that bit there. Obviously the arms move still. Let's start on the arms then. Pull this one off first. This guy. Close combat armor then, so the ranged weapon then. I didn't choose the four close combat arms because I thought, you know, have some at least some weapons in there. Got some rust effect in there. Still the um the flames and then the rust effect up on top of there. Got some tin bits on there. Always thinking doing more rust effect, but a lot of chipping as well. Chipping around this model is a lot. Well, there's a lot of extensive chipping around the model because um, I didn't know what else to do really with the with a lot of the black areas because I'm not very good with painting metals. So I looked in the codex and there were just loads of chips on the on the uh, like on the model death dread. So put that down. Put the next. Um, see if I can pop this guy off. They won't, this one's a bit harder because there's more paint on the inside. So here, I have the scorchers. This, 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 this one weapon here. Again, the flames, some checkers on this one. And, so, and then some more rust there. Again, tin bits on the, uh, on the tips of the weapon. I'll show you the other close combat arm then, up here. Literally done with some sprue. If you guys do want to know how to make one your own, I've made a video series, two videos I think it is, uh, showing how to make one of these and how I, I did it. Even shows you my painting process and everything like that, and my converting processes. So if you guys do want to make your own sort of cheap model, this is how I did it. There's some sprue, random wheel there, which I cut up with more chipping and rust all around there. And then some, a bit there that I glued on. More rust around the edges. And on the back, um, I wasn't 100% sure what to do on the back because there's not too much detail I can do. And as I said, I'm not very good at painting metals. And so I just sort of thought, I look, again, I looked in the codex and there was a lot of chipping, so I just used... A lot of the chipping and the rust. I think I might do a bit more rust next time. Put these arms back on and I'll show you its pose. This is, in fact, the um, Assault on Black Reach. Dreadnought, converted, for those of you who are vigilant or have already watched my how to make this video. Some flames there on the uh, the shoulder, the uh, shin pad. There's the base. Basically, I did him with a running, sort of running pose. Because of the evil sun's motto, red ones go faster. They are obviously the, um, you know, quite a mechanised army. And so I thought, this guy's going to be running into battle. Wanting to get stuck in as soon as he possibly can. And so, I think this bit's off the bastion, this bit here. And this is the original foot, obviously. The reason I put the, uh, the sort of, the uh, pin there is because the, I'll show you now, this, this joint here. If you can see there, you see those two tubes, they were meant to come together. But they didn't because they kept falling off. About here, the joint kept falling off because of the weight on one leg. So I decided to put sort of pin there with some green stuff and a lot of super glue. Doesn't look too bad, I suppose. 
and the base sort of camouflages in with the table at the moment. The base is just black and then some rhinox hide. And then um, just a lighter brown, really. Might dry brush on some, maybe some uh, either some red for blood or gore. Or I might dry brush, also dry brush on some um, grass, so some greens. Just to show, sort of show a bit more. And the orc. If you guys want to know how to paint this orc, or the orc colours, a brilliant, a brilliant um, tutorial is by a man called Katat, Katata Fish. You spell that C-A-T-A-T-T-A, -T -T fish. It's a bit of a mouthful, but um, he does a lot of orky stuff. He does the same sort of thing as well. I got my how to do the um, flames off him, and I got my how to do my orc off him. So if you guys want to know how to, a brilliant, an absolutely brilliant way, um, an effective way of doing it, he doesn't just do it on the model as well. He actually has a piece of paper, and he does it on the paper first, so it's very clear. Oh. And I've used the paints... As he said, with the flames, you can sort of use any colour with the flames, as long as it's a red, an orange, and a yellow, really. Then you can do any of the uh, colours. So yeah, check him out if you guys want to see some awesome orc stuff as well. He's got an awesome Evil Sons army. Um, and if you are watching, please keep up, keep it up. He does a yearly, I think it's a yearly update. And um, they are epic, absolutely epic. So um, thanks very, very much for watching. If, as I said, if you guys want to know... How to make this, then uh, it's on our channel. Um, I think it's just uh, Orc Death Dread Conversion, part one and two. I think I, I think there's two videos on it. So um, check that out as well. Um, please remember to subscribe, rate, and comment, and battle on.